I want to talk about Bard. Me too. So, <laughs> let's just talk about Bard all day. Oh, but before we do that, remember, <laughs> at Wall Esports, guys, send your tweets, hashtag TSM, hashtag EDG. Let us know who you think is going to take this one. I think I've got a feeling I know which way the uh, crowd is leaning. Really? Which way? I, I think probably towards TSM, if I had to have to put some money on it. But who wouldn't pick the team that's using Bard? Speaking yeah. of which, Bard. Dyrus, farming under turret here. Do you think they're going to try to dive the Scion? Both Ooh, top laners left on island. Both Mundo and Scion oh, are in here we go. Gank. It's all about who gets the aggro first yep. and how they awesome. execute. On the clear love, Mako taking it right minion. now. Dyrus yeah. trying to get that stun. Dyrus in a lot of trouble. And there is a red for the first blood. Def taking it. Dyrus just getting a bit of farm before he goes back to the fountain. But yeah. uh, I, I thought that somebody might play it at some point, but to date, I haven't oh, wow. seen it. The one place it was very popular of all places is the NA Challenger scene. Seraph played a lot of it Interesting. and took over a bunch of games. Oh, Dyrus in a little bit of trouble. Dodges clear love. Mako coming in though from behind. Will they try to dive this again? The minion wave, I think, is going to say yes. Dyrus already down at half health, still just level four. And there he goes yet again. Kill number two this time going over to clear love. Swap. Maybe go save Dyrus, you know, maybe make a gank in mid or something like that. They should be doing more with this bard and... Instead, uh, Death not, is now level it's, 6. It's not Dyrus' fault this keeps happening, but what do you expect? A nice death sentence onto Dyrus. That's three kills already. Man, TSM really just leaving Dyrus out to dry yet again. One lane that has been pretty much completely unfocused this game is the Pawn versus Bjergsen matchup. Bjergsen yeah. has been oh. decimating people early in CS. Oh and boy, and Emperor's continues to dive his ganks. Bjergsen a little bit of trouble. Position reverser may save him. He's a little bit tankier. So many Sand Soldiers though, and Bjergsen getting low. Has to burn that flash. Oh. Clear love flashing to chase. Bjergsen with that shield. Looks like he'll just barely manage to escape. Meanwhile, up in the top lane, DSM trying to make a play on to Deft and Mako. Mako pulled in though. There we go. Oh, nice play on the Lust Boy. A lot of trouble. Magical journey to escape. Oh, Oh, Deft, he's taking a magical journey too, and it's gonna be a journey to the death for Lost Boy. Maybe, maybe. Oh, oh makes it out. He uses the Bard ult to stop Deft Back just in. long enough. Bjergsen in trouble in the mid lane, and he will finally go down as Pawn grabs that kill. A nice, nice decision by Clearlove to go here back. Go. And, and here they go. Journey. Deft in a little bit of trouble now. Lust Boy still low. And Deft may try to claim a kill. He'll get Ooh. an easy one. Oh, that was painful. Oh, wow. How many can he get? Hit with that death sentence. There's the double, and he's not done yet. Teleport coming in for TSM. Dyrus trying to turn that one around. Coral there as well, too. Deft getting Deft. low. Dyrus gets the shutdown. Turns back on the Coral now. Mako trying to help out. But Dyrus will finally go down. Not quite going to catch up to Coral for that. Well, and for TSM to come back, they're going to need to have some pretty sick team fights. And Deft, uh oh, chasing down Wild Turtle. Where's that Valkyrie cooldown? Wild Turtle taking a lot of damage. Will the Ren finish him off? There's the flash. Deft waiting for the whole Ren. So close. Meanwhile, Coral takes down that turret up in top lane. And it looks like they may lose one in bot as well, too. Deft trying to get closer to Lost Boy. Thrown in with that Fates call. There's a nice play. Lost Boy grabbing the Death Sentence. He's in the box now. Tempered Fates going to save him for just a moment. Santorin comes in. Lost Boy Magical Journeys right into Clear Love. Oh, no. Goodbye, Bard. He's getting a little bit low. Meanwhile, Deft. Oh, oh Deft dies to the turret. And a little bit of help from Wild Turtle. Meanwhile, Mako <laughs> getting taken out as well. Clear Love managed to get the kill on Lost Boy, but... Uh... The Spears. Ouch. And Deft is putting a ton of pressure onto this turret. Oh, here comes Santorin. But not able to quite do anything at the moment. Lust Boy in a little bit of trouble. Wild Turtle, there's a tempered fate again. Coral's like, thanks, man, I need to catch up. Oh, Clear Love gets the kill there, and Wild Turtle backing off with that Valkyrie. Yeah, this Bard pick, I hate to say it, may not be working out too well. Oh, Clear Love all over Wild Turtle. Easy kill there, but here comes Bjergsen for a bit of revenge. Will he get it, though? I don't think so. There's a kill for Pawn. And this one is turning into a bit of a rout. But EDG, I'm going to say they're going to win this game. I think that's a pretty uh, safe bet there, Jeff. I could say it. I think EDG is going to win this game. Bjergsen in a little bit of trouble here. Thus furthering that uh, hypothesis, perhaps. It's still a possibility that we're going to have coming up here in EDG. It's possible. They're going to try and end this game as quickly as possible. Yep, going in onto this inhibitor turret in the mid lane, doing a lot of damage to it. Does DSM have any sort of recourse? Santorin has that ult. Oh, here comes Dyrus. Right oh, through no! the middle. Doesn't hit any 
everybody. And now TSM, they can't follow up because there's nothing to follow up on. Pawn coming in for a bit more damage. They're going to take out Ghost Dyrus. Tempered Fate freezes people up for just a moment. But again, no damage really. Coral getting a bit low. All oh, the Wild Turtle grab of the Death Sentence. Taken down by Clearla. Pawn comes in. Emperor's Divide pushes. Bjergsen back out, another kill for Clear Love. What a hero and a flash from depth to take down Lust Boy. And it looks like EDG is ready to end this one as quick. Coral though. Oh, here comes Dyrus coming in and he does hit a couple people, but where's the follow up? Clear Love blocking a lot of stuff. Dyrus gets flayed back in, filled with spears yet again. He is going to go down. And that is that. Tempered Fate used again by Lost Boy. Didn't really get a whole lot done. In the event of a three-way tie for first, which would happen if AHQ beats SKT later, the, the way the three-way tie works is the two teams that have the slowest time oh in their boy. victories play each other. Yeah. So the team that wins the fastest would actually get the higher in that mini tournament. Well, Santorin lands the ult on a couple members of EDG. Bjergsen still in a lot of trouble here. Lost Boy trying to save people. They do take out Bjergsen. Now Santorin in a little bit of trouble. Another kill for Clearlove. Clearlove, 8-0 and towards another kill on the inhibitor down in bot lane. All three inhibitors are going to be down at this point, and the low health on EDG should be a bit of a concern normally, but these guys just don't seem worried about anything at the moment. Pawn uh -oh. to Zonia, though. Uh-oh, yeah, a lot of damage. Cyrus gets the kill there. Now EDG on the run. Tempered Fate, it lets TSM catch up. They're gonna kill Deft as well. Bard making things happen. Clear Love trying to get away. We got one good bard all guys. We got one good one this game. I'm happy. Oh, Santorin comes in. They're going to try to get a kill on the Coral here as well, too. Oh, yeah, right into Lust Boy. Lust Boy oh. and Bloodthirsty can't quite finish off Mako. Going to try to make a play. Wow, magical journey. And got a boy. Flashes for the Bloodthirsty kill on the bard. Coral still trying to move out. But here comes Clear Love. Nice double knockup. Wild Turtle. They still haven't killed him. Oh. Are you kidding me? Well, I don't even know. I'm done. I'm done, guys. Clear love. Santorin coming in. There we go. Finally, finally gets the kill on Okoro, but gives the double over to Clear love. At this point, he just wants to try to 1v1 Bjergsen with a half health, apparently. TSM's inhibitors oh. are cycling on. alive and dead right now, so EDG yeah. can waltz in pretty much whenever they want here. Clear love doesn't want to stop. Bjergsen's like, this may be a trap. No. Here oh, here it comes. Clear love getting low. Oh, wow. Deft is like, no, that kill is mine. Oh, goodbye, lost boy. Pawn taking another one. And now EDG maybe thinking about ending this one. Maybe thinking about just getting more kills, too. I think maybe more kills is the way to go. What hey, they're, they're keeping yeah. up their kills per minute stat. This yeah. is more than 0.76 kills per minute. They're going for more than a kill. Oh, in this man, game. another Emperor's Divide. Knocks Wild Turtle right into Clear Love for kill for Wild Turtle. Thank you there. Dyrus gets pulled in with that death sentence, doesn't land that stun. Meanwhile, Deft, Santorin just trying to take down Pawn. The turrets are getting taken down in EDG, ready to end this one. There goes the Nexus. Now that both Nexus turrets have been taken out, Santorin just hanging out, Mako tangling with him. There's the play, and Deft wants another kill. Oh, Wild Turtle blew up Pawn, and apparently this game is not going to end yet, I guess. Wild Turtle backing off now as Coral jumps in there. Uh-oh, Corky in trouble, gets taken down, and now the Nexus finally focused. 27 kills in 25 minutes for EDG as as they take the game over TSM, it's over. And the thing about EDG and the style of play is when you individually outclass your opposition, roll by roll.